Chapter 37 The Frozen Enigma The trio and their friends journeyed deep into the heart of the frozen enigma, a land perpetually locked in winter's icy embrace. Their breath crystallized in the frigid air as they trekked through forests of glistening snow-covered trees and crossed frozen rivers beneath the watchful gaze of the towering snow-capped peaks. Amid this winter wonderland, they encountered Frost, a wise and mysterious snow owl. With feathers as white as freshly fallen snow, Frost had a timeless air about him, as if he'd seen countless seasons come and go. Frost welcomed the travelers with a knowing twinkle in his eyes, sensing that they had come with a purpose. As they sat around a campfire, its flames crackling cheerfully, Frost told them the story of the frozen enigma. It was once a land of incredible beauty and balance, where the changing seasons wove a tapestry of vibrant colors and life. But the Ice King, once a guardian of winter's gentle touch, had grown greedy and cast a dark spell to bring eternal winter. The spell had plunged the land into unending cold, and it seemed that spring, with its blossoms and warmth, was but a distant memory. The kingdom of Everbright was suffering from the prolonged winter, and its inhabitants longed for the return of spring's embrace. Determined to bring back the balance of the seasons, the trio, their friends, and Frost set out to confront the Ice King and shatter the curse he had cast. Their journey was an adventure like no other. Along the way, they encountered ice caverns filled with sparkling stalactites and ice crystals, where they had to solve intricate puzzles to progress. Each challenge taught them new skills and tested their wits. Silva's understanding of nature, Leo's bravery, Amelia's resourcefulness, and Drizzle's resilience all played a vital role in overcoming the obstacles they faced. Frost, with his vast knowledge of the frozen enigma, guided them through the treacherous landscape. He shared ancient wisdom about the importance of balance in nature and the need for harmony between the seasons. The trio and friends listened in awe as he spoke of the delicate dance between the icy enchantment of winter and the vibrant renewal of spring. Their adventure culminated at the Ice King's fortress, a towering palace of ice and frost. It was here that the final confrontation took place. The Ice King, once a guardian of winter's beauty, had been consumed by greed and power. He was a formidable foe, but the trio and their friends were fueled by a deep understanding of the importance of balance and a determination to restore harmony. With courage and unity, they faced the Ice King in a battle of wits, endurance, and strength. They worked together to unravel the magic he had harnessed and shattered the eternal winter spell. As the Ice King's power waned, the frozen landscape began to thaw. The trio and friends witnessed the magic of spring returning to the land. Flowers burst into bloom, and the once frozen rivers flowed freely. It was a spectacular sight, a reminder that nature's balance had been restored. Returning to Everbright, they were hailed as heroes. The kingdom was bathed in the warmth of spring, and the inhabitants celebrated with music, dance, and vibrant festivals. The trio and their friends had not only brought back the season, but had also learned the profound lesson that life, like the seasons, was a delicate balance of beauty and change. To be continue. Thanks a bunch for sharing this adventure with us. We had a blast, and we hope you did too. Remember to give that like button a friendly tap and hit the subscribe button so you won't miss out on more fantastic tales and giggles. Can't wait to see you again soon for another round of storytime fun.